Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the testing team. Today it's a little different setup. Today we're trying the paraglider. Ralph has a paraglider with him. He brought it all the way to Cape Town. And Aaron and me, we're getting taught like the basics in paragliding because there are for sure some parallels to kiteboarding and I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. We have perfect conditions here in Langeban. The wind is onshore. We have the dunes where the wind goes up and according to Ralph it's possible to soar through the dunes. So stay tuned for some cool shots and I really can't wait to fly like a bird through the dunes. Alright, this is the takeoff spot. I'm gonna strap myself with the second seat onto Ralph and hopefully it goes good. So yeah, we're just gonna take off here, jump off the cliff, and hopefully we, we fly and don't fall. All right, let's go. So it seems like we survived, Ralph. <laughs> Thanks for the experience yesterday. Small question. What is the relation between you and paragliding and why did we do? It means what is the connection between paragliding and kiteboarding? Well, I have been starting paragliding when I was 14 and since ever then I'm actually really into that sport and also the paragliding and paragliding design brought me to kite designs. I would say there is a lot of similarities on it. I mean, I don't know how you have expected it yesterday. It was like the second time for you. That was, I think, the first time for you, Aaron. Yeah. So what was your impression? Yeah, for me, it was really cool. It was like, uh, I didn't really know what to expect. I've seen a lot of people do it and a lot of friends do it before. And it always looks fun, but like my thoughts on it is like, oh, I don't know how, if I could trust myself doing it, if I would go to extreme, but it was just totally chilled and like everything's relatable to kiting just the way you control a kite and the way a kite works is very similar except you're just facing forward so it's kind of reversed and something you would have to get used to mm. but man i had a lot of fun yeah yeah it was cool and, and you, you've, you've done it a couple of times now so yeah. you knew what to expect a little bit yeah it was it was pretty cool we flew so close to the dunes yeah. there was sometimes you just put your feet down and you can feel the sand that was pretty impressive yeah. and i really liked it and also like you get a good feeling for speed it means you're going like probably 60, 70, maybe 80 kilometers an hour over the dune and then getting up and it feels like a big roller coaster and really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. But it must be different doing like solo and tandem. It is actually a little bit different, yeah. But generally, I mean, it was interesting because I handed over you the, the handles to you guys when we had enough height. And uh, I, for me, it is paragliding and kiting is really related to each other. It's kind of the same thing. I mean, on the paraglider, you are very close to the canopy. This is like the main difference, I would say. And yes, as you said, like everything is reverse. So on the paraglider, of course, you're facing forward. When you're kiting, you're also like facing always forward. That's clear. But the kite is just like um, not really connected to you. But the movement of like your hands up is basically you're sheeting out and then breaking to the right, you're flying to the right, left. Uh, the other way so this is very very similar and um, that's also the reason why in 2001 when I started fly surfer I had the uh, we all uh, like the people around me was we all had the idea that the paragliding idea like to have an inflatable soft guide is actually the answer for um, for kite surfing which is obviously not but still you can see why we thought it you know, like coming from the paragliding background like going into kite surfing was like okay this is easy we just have to turn it it's basically a stun kite and 
you can adapt to it. But um, yeah, I think uh, we had some fun at least. Maybe it was not that fast, but I mean some diving uh, was for sure fun. And uh, I think also Marianne is when we break and we release, like the energy you can gain is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And also it seems like it's way more direct because you're way closer to the canopy and therefore if you just let go of the handles the paraglider or the kite just immediately shoots forward and it's pretty cool to see because it's probably the same with the kite but you're just not that close to the kite you're therefore not feeling it that strong. Yeah that's true. Yeah. Spot for you Aaron? I think I'll get into <laughs> it. I really like the, the g-force and and the speed and just the feeling was, was insane and like every time you would like crank into a turn I was like oh go more go more <laughs> like harder yeah. but it's hard in this we need to be higher up and I don't we have deal. To be, but just yeah. yeah just grabbing it it was super intuitive for me I think coming yep. from Kaiden and for so many years the feeling that you have you feel every little bit you can also feel that in the handles of a paraglider too and just getting a little bit more used to how everything reacts to your inputs uh, yeah I'll have to like take it easy, but <laughs> I think it will be fun. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. I can really imagine that you, both of you, are would be good paragliding pilots because this is like, yeah, I think just a natural could be a natural step. And I can't wait to uh, have a session with you guys in the air. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, watch out for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will be always on top. You know, there's no problem. <laughs>